Today we're going to take a look at the new House Logix Routines driver, which gives you the ability to do some light programming, macro style events, all from within the Control 4 interface, whether that would be a touch panel, iOS or Android app, uh, or even using the PC or Mac applications. All right, so let's launch this here. We're going to go into Watch, and the Routines driver shows up in there in the rooms that you specify. So you can see I've got a couple options already here. If I tap on the Routines tab, you can see I can pick which one I want to run. I can see which ones I have already scheduled to run. I can edit any of the ones I might already have. And of course, I can go in and create some new ones. And lastly, the tab at the top allows me to view which, which ones have run and when they ran. So why don't we jump right in here and start with a very basic one. So this one I'll just create very easily. It's just a single, we'll do a single event. We'll just call it Porch off and add that routine. So now if I come into the edit screen, if I want to go to porch and let's just say I want this to do something simple uh, device and I'm going to do a light and I want to do the outdoor light and I'm going to say in this case I want to turn it off. So there you can see I now have it just like that, that rule that says every time I run this routine, this is porch off, it's going to turn off that light. That's simple in itself of itself. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go in and schedule that to run at a specific time, which is where some of the power of this really comes in. So I'm going to actually run this every weekday and I'm going to just say, you know, we'll run it at this time. I can select the hour and the minute so I can get the very, get it very pre precise if I want. And then I'm going to pick which uh, routine I want to run. So I want to run that porch off routine. So now you can see uh, our new schedule here and you can see exactly what is scheduled for that time. In addition to being able to schedule, one of the great features is that a dealer can actually program a certain routine uh, and tie it to a button on a keypad. So if you have a, say you have a, a, a button on your keypad in the living room that's called movie mode, I can program a movie mode routine using this driver that every time when I push that, it's going to execute that. So the power in that is that if I need to make a change to that, I can very easily come into this utility and to this driver and make that change. And it's done instantly without having to have somebody remote in and, you know, open some Windows software and make, make any changes. So uh, why don't I do that? Let's go in and we'll do another one and we'll call it just movie just to keep it simple. Add that routine. So now I can view that movie and I can go in and add some rules. So the first thing I want to do again is device rule and I come into here and do, uh, we want to do a media device and I want to pick the room. So I'm going to do the living room is where I want this to happen. I'm going to go in and select a video device and I'm going to pick, uh, in this case, we'll do the fire TV. So you can see we've got our first rule. Now I can go in and add another rule and I can come into logic rules if I want, if I need to add a delay or some sort of special event. But in this case, I actually want to do another device rule. So I'm going to go into devices and uh, I know the volume, who knows what the kids set the volume at. So I'm going to go into remote control, again, pick the living room and do a volume command. And I'm actually going to go into the set volume level. And I know 25 is a pretty good uh, volume level there. So I'll just scroll down, find 25 and add that. So now that that's set, uh, we got to set the, the lighting. So I want to come in and do a, another rule. This time I'm going to actually do a lighting scene because I got a couple lights in here and I'm going to select the scene that I created using the same Control 4 app and I'm going to call it movie mode. I'm going to select the movie mode one. So now you can see I've selecting fire TV, setting the volume in the room, uh, activating the lighting scene and last but not least we'll go in and do another device rule this time for thermostat so I know I want to set the thermostat in here uh, to the heat I want to set the temperature to a, a nice warm 72 and there you go so now we've got that routine done and set in there and every time that button is pushed that the dealer uh, tied this routine to, it's going to execute that. So if I ever need to change the volume or change what that does, I can very easily go in here and modify that. Uh, I could schedule it. I can see when it ran. And of course, I can select it. Uh, even if I have an action that I'm doing over and over, I need to automate, I can use this driver to do that. 
Uh, you can even tie it to something like your MyQ enabled garage door. So that way when that opens, it fires a welcome home scene. And again, you can configure that to exactly whatever you want it to do. Or maybe you want to uh, change uh, lighting, the color of the room. If you've got some of these, the new LifeX light bulbs in there, you can do that as well. Uh, it's very easy to kind of go in and, and configure exactly what you want and be able to make those changes. So if you're looking for more information, feel free to visit our website, uh, the House Logics website listed in the comments below.